Hello and welcome to sunny South Florida. My name is Damien. I'm going to be showing you this beautiful Maxim 2100 LSR powered by a Merc Cruiser 5.7 liter motor. The service department has done an inspection on the motor and everything has checked out fine. We're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward, show you all the features on the boat, and then we'll take it out for a quick ride. Starting at the transom, we have a nice swim platform with some non-skid back there. And over on the starboard side, we also have a recessed boarding ladder, as you can see. And you'll see that in the pictures as well. Ski hook and grab handle. And then you have your little sun pad back here. As you can see, coming into the cockpit, we have two jump seats. And they do turn into a full sun pad. And all I have to do is just remove this, drop it down, and it converts back into its regular jump seat. Uh, motor's in great shape. You look at the pictures on that. We do have the bimini top for the boat, but for video purposes, I left it off so you can get a full bird's eye view of the cockpit and whatnot for the whole boat. Midsection or, you know, or middle of the boat, we have two back-to-back -back jump, uh, back-to-back -back lounge seats. They do pull down. You can definitely relax on them. And at the center of the deck up here, we also have some under deck storage. We grab handles on either side and a little bit more storage underneath the gunnels. Notice that you have wraparound padding throughout the boat. Coming up to the passenger side, we have a nice glove box, storage for cell phones, wallets, and whatnot. We've got a little refreshment, little uh, either storage compartment or refreshment. You can put a little bit of ice and some drinks in there. On the driver's side, we have a display of gauges. We have a digital depth sounder and a rocker switches for accessories. We have our stereo as well, which is operational at this time. Tilt wheel, and then at the middle of the windshield, notice that we do have a walk-through windshield right now. I have the uh, windscreen, what we would call the windscreen set up uh, underneath the windshield. Let me open this up so you can take a look at that. And basically, if you're out there, it's a little windy or it's uh, getting a little uh, wet out there, a little drizzle, you close this up, it'll give you a little added protection. Okay? Open this up. Locks right into place. And then we get up to our, our bow area with our wraparound seating. Uh, nice, comfortable cushions. We have storage underneath the, the seats, plenty of cup holders throughout. This boat is equipped with uh, two bow cleats, two midship cleats, and two stern cleats. And then uh, obviously we have our running lights and whatnot. So um, overall condition of the boat, I'd say the gel coat and the motor's in great condition. The upholstery's in good shape, but there's still some sun fading and whatnot and the piping and a little, a little bit of staining throughout the cushions. But overall, they don't need immediate replacement or anything like that. So I'm going to call them in good condition, especially with it being a 99. Uh, let's fire the boat up, take it up for a quick ride, I'll show you how she runs. Good to go. That concludes the uh, video presentation on the 99 Maxim 2100. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, it's a very fast boat, a lot of fun to drive. Um, folks, boat overall condition for 99 is in very good shape. Gel coat looks great. There is uh, one scratch on the side and a little uh, small area up on the bow that you'll see in the pictures and whatnot. But overall, I'd say that the boat's in uh, good condition. Upholstery's in great shape. And, uh, well, boater, as you can see, runs great. So. 
from Marine Connection in West Palm Beach, Florida. My name is Damien. Call me or write me if you have any questions. God bless. Have a great day.